Hey, I want to welcome you guys to another uh, edition of the flight plan. This week I've got some pretty neat things that I'd love to share with you. Uh, a few weeks ago we were at a Tom Ferry conference in Dallas and one of the things they talked about is, is the prioritization of our daily uh, tasks and we've got to figure out ways to determine um, what's important, what's not important, what's urgent, and what's not urgent. So I kind of started putting some things together and just to kind of give you guys an idea of every day you come to work there needs to be some some tasks that you're trying to get to perform and what's on your calendar is it important because remember if it's not in your calendar it doesn't exist and that's usually the first thing that uh, tells us what we're not getting uh, done and what we are accomplishing so I kind of went through some things and I want to talk about them one-on-one -on -one, but I drew this graph and it's what they talked about and you know you've got important at the top not important at the bottom and you've got urgent on the right and not urgent on the left and so what we're going to focus on this first thing is what are the tasks that we need to be doing every single day that's or or prioritizing at a high level every single day that's in this category and we're going to walk through these that are urgent important um, uh, urgent not important um, and then uh, back over here to the non-urgent side so what we're going to do is talk about what's what's urgent and what's not so responding to client inquiries lead generation is something that's always going to be over here lead generation is extremely important and that's one of the first things that should always be because it's urgent it's important and it's our dollar value activity that's happening at a really high level and I don't like the color of this so let's go here let's pick um, uh, yellow again and then we'll figure this out um, lead generation activities are going to be super super important so responding to the client inquiries speed to the lead all that stuff matters efficiently uh, as efficiently as you can but you've got to have that is it's important and it's extremely urgent the second thing is scheduling and attending property showings well you know that you can't just schedule something and go oh by the way um, I'll get there when I can so property showings you probably can't read my handwriting and that's okay but we're we're okay um, it's important to note that if you've got a deadline or time on something you're not going to miss that so no matter what happens your showings have to take a higher priority than all the rest of the stuff um, managing your contract deadlines um, this is super important too because as you have your properties under contract you have deadlines on certain things what are the option period deadlines what are the times to have our final loan approvals what's our closing date all of those things are, are super important and they need to be in our calendars with reminders so that we know when we've got deadlines if we've got a listing and we've got a specific expiration date of the listing we need to make sure those are in place so these are all the things that fall into the urgent category and they're super super important um, and the, the last thing on this is negotiations so negotiations are where we get our cash so we've got to make sure that we're, we're, we're negotiating effectively we're negotiating properly and we're not waiting to negotiate when that when that question comes in or that offer and we've got a counter offer situation we've got to make sure we're high prioritizing that's super important and it's super super urgent so those are the four things that I think are the, 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 the most important and the most urgent that's lead generation uh, uh, property showings we've got we've got appointment times for that we've got contract deadlines we need to know throughout the the listing agreement or in the contract to purchase all of our deadlines for that and they need to be in our calendars just for timelines for all of that and the last is the negotiations when we've got a situation to negotiate we've got to do it really really efficiently and timely the second thing is urgent and not important so it's going to fall into this quadrant over here so keep in mind these are things that are that are, are, are very urgent that we've got to get them done but they're not not that important um, the first thing is is responding to routine emails and messages so we can actually time these things and so um, I'm gonna put email and text so if we've got specific times in our calendar set up to where we're gonna you know early in the morning I would never recommend jumping on email and text messages because that's rabbit holes I would I would definitely get it done because it's urgent to do because we've got to make sure that we don't have 
a negotiations opportunity in these things. So we can we can quickly go through these things as we're going uh, about our day. But have a couple of times during the day that you check your emails and a couple of times or maybe more on your text messages because more people are texting the most important stuff there. So it's urgent, but it's not that critical. So the second thing is social media engagement. So you want to make sure it's urgent, but it's not critical. At the end of the day, we need to have times set up for when we're going to do our social media postings. I love to wake up in the morning. I jump into social media. It's where I go look at all the different businesses that I've got, and I try to make strategic posts for those and follow up with some of the people that have responded maybe overnight. I do a lot of business via social media, so I want to make sure that's, that takes up priority. But it's not as critical or not as important as, as these other top four. Um, the other thing is administrative tasks. Um, admin and timing is also important. We've got to make sure that as we're going through our contracts that we are reporting all that appropriately. We've got to make sure that we're sending out the notices of, of, uh, of, of showings to our home sellers. We've got to send update reports to our buyers. Where are we in this process? These are, these are they're important. I mean, they're urgent, but they're not that important. But you just need to make sure that you're getting these done. Um, the fourth thing that's urgent and not important is non-critical meetings. What is a non-critical meeting? Well, that's going to be something like you might have a, a meeting with a client, a meeting with another agent. Um, you need to make sure that everybody that you're scheduling your, your meetings with, you need to make sure that they're not falling in and they're interrupting some of these other things. You need to reschedule those to a, another spot. But for instance, if you're sending out um, updated listing reports and you want to do that on, on Mondays, if all of a sudden Mondays is full of all of these different things, you can still get that out on Tuesday. It's important to at least have that on, on your calendar so you can get it done. But if something happens through the course of the day and it's not done, that can get moved down, but it still follows into that urgent category. Um, also what's involved in these things are industry webinars. We get invited to webinars all the time and they may fit into something that we're really working on in today's world. Maybe it's video training or other, that other types of, uh, of, of NAR stuff that's been going on. It's important that we do that, but it's not critically important, so it's not urgent. We can always come back and do that again on another, on another time. The third thing is non-urgent, but yet still important. So it's this quadrant right over here. So what are the things that are on this thing? Networking and relationship building. Um, I would say that going to clubs for different things, um, networking is huge. You need to make sure that you're networking with other agents. You need to make sure that you're networking with potential uh, customers that could turn into clients. These are things that are important to do, but they're not, they're not urgent. You can always come back to this type of, type of activity. So networking is going to fall into that category. Um, professional development. Um, I see a lot of agents that have a lot of uh, letters after their name, whether it's ABR or GRI or all these other types of things. So, you know, if you're looking for some professional development, uh, a coaching type situation where you're wanting to go to events to learn from a real estate coach who's teaching you how to leverage listings or how to leverage an assistant, these are things that are that are important to do because it's, it's, it's business and personal development but it's not urgent. You can always take these types of things. And so that's something that you should have on your calendars, but don't be afraid to, to call and say, you know what, something that falls into this category over here has come up and I need to take care of that first and foremost. So we wanna make sure that professional development falls into this quadrant over here. Um, the third thing is marketing planning. So we all need to make sure we've got a, a marketing plan in place. And we can always kind of fall into these types of things as to where, where we are in our spectrum. But over here, you need to at least spend some time during the course of a week's period of time that to work on what either the next week or the next month's marketing plan might look like. It's not something that you have to focus on. Don't put this stuff aside because you go, oh my God, I don't have my social media post set up for next, next month. That's okay. You can always come back, come back to that. Um, Business and financial planning. I would say know your P&L. 
And it's important to have timelines set aside, whether it's the first of the month or the end of the month, to go through all of the income that you had and all of your expenses. Know what your business is doing. How profitable are you? What, did, what are some of the expenses you can dial back on? Um, what are the expenses you need to accelerate on? If the, if the ad budget that you have is producing some good results, but yet you can handle a few more leads, come back in here and work through some of this business plan. I think it's, it's something that we all need to have on our calendars, but again, it's important, but it's not urgent. Um, we're gonna fall into this last category here. This is where this stuff is almost at a spot where you know it's there, but you should probably never do it because you should have enough stuff in, over in this world that'll keep you so busy that you don't end up in this quadrant. The first thing is browsing social media aimlessly, just casually scrolling. Browsing is a time suck. Don't do it. Don't do it unless you're scrolling with intentionality, and that could be over here in part of your lead generating stuff. It's okay to be on social media if you're purposeful, but just to be sitting around, I mean, this, this falls into the late at night when you're just trying to have a few laughs or something like that. That's non-urgent and it's not important. It's just a time filler. And if you got time for it, that's fine, but, but most of it's just a time suck. Um, the second thing is over-organizing over tools and systems. I'll call that the over-plan. A lot of agents fit into this category. They feel like they have to have everything dialed in before they can lead generate. I've got to have my website absolutely perfect. No, you don't. Just have one. I have to have my CRM all dialed in before I can make phone calls. No, you don't. Just make phone calls. Over-organizing is the number one killer of real estate agents business models. So don't feel like you've got to come in here and make everything perfect because if you're going to make this a career, you got a career's worth of time to make it perfect. I've been doing this for 20 years and I'm still working on a website. I've been doing this for 20 years and I'm still working on, on the right email email flow. I'm still trying to figure out what um, what I'm gonna be doing next week because I, I've been in this process where I've over planned for a long time and I don't like to do that anymore. So over planning is terrible. Um, the last thing you wanna do is engage in gossip or chit chat. I'm gonna put gossip down here. It's not important and it's not urgent to be talking with another agent about another agent situation. It's not important, it's not urgent to be talking about a situation with another family matter of what's going on with their family and what could potentially happen with the sale of their property. Stop the gossip, don't worry about what other people are doing, and one thing I can tell you for sure is stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. It's one of the worst things that you can do as a real estate agent, don't do that. And number four is irrelevant events. And you know what this is? That's the lender lunch. It's the title company lunch. It's the, hey, can I go buy you dinner? Can we go to dinner? Can we go to lunch? Can we meet up for, meet up for a cup of coffee? Those coffee meetings can happen at any given time. And I promise you, if you accept one of those, it's not a quick 30 minute deal. You've got to plan your morning. You got to get your hair made up. You got to do all these other things. Make sure you got the right shirt on. Then you got to drive over to the coffee shop. Then you got to hang out for a while. Somebody's got something else going on. They're late. Oh, it's okay. I'm just going to go back to the browsing social media aimlessly. And by doing those things, and by doing those things, guess what happens? You end up killing time. And then next thing you know, it's after, it's after lunch or it's late in the morning and you haven't done your urgent and your top important tasks because you've allowed some of these other things to infiltrate your, your time. So I would recommend every day that you come in, have a list of tasks that you really wanna work on. You might have, hey, I want to, I want to um, uh, uh, add some photos to my website. I would like to um, make sure uh, my, my, my social media management is working great. I want to make sure that I've got this going on. I want to make sure I've got that going on. Write down all the things that you intend to do. And then I want you to think about, is that task an income producing task? An income producing task is top right, totally something that can help contribute to the income producing task is bottom right because that's what's going to get us to this spot. 
um, the emails, the, the, the planning of the emails, the, 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 the lead generating emails that go out, hey, can I help you? The text messages to the random uh, uh, database contact that says, hey, it's been a while since we've chatted. These are, these are all important in just in social media. Then we want to go back over here to the other things. What does our CE look like? What does our networking look like? How can we get out still and contribute to the community? Those types of things. And this bottom, bottom left is the fluff. And the more we can zero out on this, think about this. If we can eliminate all these different things and put everything into these other three buckets, I promise you, you'll be more successful in real estate than, than anybody else out there. High focus on these three, leave this one out of the picture. So anyway, I want to thank Tammy Goodman for always being a great sponsor of the uh, flight plan. She's a wonderful lender. We've uh, loved being in partnership with her. Got to tell you a really quick story. Um, I love that she is, is so inquisitive about the things that go on in the real estate world. She just came to me a few moments ago and said, hey, I've got a question. Um, we've got a situation that's come up with a farm and ranch uh, uh, opportunity. And do you know how this would work or what's available to um, the, the agent and, um, and, and is a specific type of, uh, of an inspection needed? And, and I didn't know. So we quickly went and looked it up. We found the answer to it. And I love the fact that she is so focused on making sure that she's delivering that five-star level of service. She's not afraid to ask the right questions and she's not afraid to go to bat for your client. She wants to make sure they're getting the absolute best rates. And with today's rate, uh, uh, Fed rate reduction, which is the first time in four years, what a wonderful thing to have happen. We are about to see some explosion in some real estate sales. So. Get your quadrants out. Get to thinking about what you can do to build your business. Just, you know, uh, Brian did this the other day with somebody. He put some blue tape up on a wall with a bunch of sticky notes. Whatever it is that fits your vision and your eye, just get out there and do it. And I promise you, you'll do really, really well with, um, with real estate. That's our flight plan for the week. Thanks for coming and paying attention. I hope you stayed this long. Remember to like and subscribe, all the great things that we're supposed to be asking our, 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 our people. I love doing this because it's helping me sharpen my pencil in my business, and I love sharing all these with you. So I hope you have a great day, and um, we'll see you next week on the flight plan.